Hey guys, it's 323 Starlight. Welcome back to more Mass Effect 3. Last time, we rescued a female Krogan and began preparations for curing the genophage. In this episode, well, we're going to find out what Commander, to do. You said one of your ships had gone missing? Crashed, actually. I couldn't speak in front of the Krogan. Our ship went down on Chuchanka. Now they're pinned by an advanced guard of Reapers scouting the planet. What are your men doing there? I'm sorry. That's classified. But it's vital they be rescued. They must complete their original mission. It's a matter of... galactic peace. I'll do what I can. I appreciate your help. And understanding. That's all. Of course, Commander. And now to learn what we can from Call Rex. What does he want? Officer Kesh, just like the old days, Shepard. Right down to me pulling your ass out of the fire. I was the one with bullets flying at me. And I gave you the moral support to dodge them. Uh-huh. You said one of your squads is missing? They were scouting out the Rachni relay. We've heard rumors of trouble in the area. Rachni? Thought that might get your attention. I have a favor to ask. It's big. Don't tell me they're back. All I know for sure is our scouts went silent as soon as they arrived. I've got Arlac Company, my best unit, on standby. You give the word, and they'll meet you there. I'll see what I can do. Get on it, Shepard. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. Hey, Shepard? I like what you've done with the Normandy. Got tired of always hanging around the cargo bay before. I still don't have a window like Liara does, but it's progress. Wish I could knock some heads around with you, but duty calls. If the Solarian says my DNA is important, who am I to argue? All right, that. We've got two new side missions. That is true. Commander, we've got new reports of Cerberus activity on Tachanka. I've marked it on the galaxy map. Oh, let's take a look at that. Let's see. Hmm. Hey, Farron. What does Joker think about all this? Krogan and the Trians really should get behind the Alliance. They've got so much in common, like shooting things and not wanting to die. Now that's about it. So, bringing the Krogan to a war summit went well. You want me to invite the Batarians too? Or the Vorcha? Building alliances is the only way we stand a chance against the Reapers. Yeah, but the Krogan? I'd feel better if we had a tighter plan, like time travel or teaching the Reapers to love. Still, good to have Morden back. The bad guys shouldn't get the monopoly on mad scientists. <laughs> it's good he came by. I have questions about the genophage. You and everyone else. What do you need, Edie? A Krogan female of breeding age can produce clutches of up to 1,000 fertilized eggs over the course of a year. There are over 1 billion females on Tachanka. If even 1% become fully fertile, they can birth 10 billion infants. On Earth, bugs have a lot of young, too. Most of them die. The attrition rate would naturally be high, but the state has an interest in keeping the children alive for warfare purposes. Any other cheerful thoughts? Logistics. Even were they to side with us. Transporting the Krogan to the battlefield of Palavin could prove difficult. They have been demilitarized. That is, they have no warships. What do you suggest? They will need Turian or civilian starships to carry them to battle. With your permission, I will make the necessary calls to have these ships in place for when you deliver the Krogan. Do it. Anything else? Food. They will be unable to eat anything on Palavin. They must bring their own or rely on the nutrients in their humps. This keeps getting better and better. The Krogan will also require sedatives. 
since Krogan fight with others of their kind in enclosed spaces such as starships. Make it happen. Are there any last things you're worried about? Nothing that demands your attention, Shepard. Interesting. Edie is pretty well informed. But anyways, let, let's go l talk with the rest of our crew. Anything else you want to tell me, Taylor? Nice to trainer? see you again. How are you settling in, trainer? I actually feel somewhat useful. It's been challenging to integrate data feeds for the War Summit. How are the systems holding? Well, I'm glad we performed stress tests. Specialist trainer has been extremely helpful. The accuracy of our war room data is a direct result of her work. Thank you, Edie. I'm still getting used to all of this. In the lab, we'd hoard everything, piles of tech everywhere. Out here, it's like living out of a shoebox. Life on an active ship always feels crowded at first. You'll get used to it. Oh, it's not a bad thing. I've got no problems getting cozy. <laughs> This is wonderful. Back in the lab, we had to hoard because we had no budget. Now, Edie, Ariaki Tech uses a proprietary smart processing algorithm that could clean up our long-range data. Can we license it? We can. Analyzing and applying the upgrade now. The algorithm should reduce long-range strategic combat data analysis time by 3%. Impressive. If it means getting the equipment I need, I can quite happily live out of a shoebox. Again, interesting. Let's head to the crew deck. Anything going on in here? Doesn't look like it. You gonna open up? It will work, Rex. We just need to finish building the crucible. Although I'd be interested to learn how you found out about it. Wasn't that hard. Lucky you keep its location more secret than the fact that it exists. And I'm sure you'll do a good job of both, being so famous for your discretion. <laughs> My lips are sealed. Good to see you again, Shepard. Good to see you again, Shepard. Okay, nothing to talk to her about. Let's see. Nothing new. I don't know why I look at that, um, terminal. Aware Krogan females find scars attractive. Garrus loyal, reasonably intelligent, bit aggressive, almost like Krogan. For the third time, Doctor, I'm not interested. Ah, Shepard, we were just... Are you okay? I'm fine, Rex. You can relax. Can't be too careful. Or put any faith in Solarian doctors. This one is different. Is he? What's that? Simple blood test. What kind? Kind that ends the genophage. Shepard, please. Distraction's counterproductive. Also affecting comfort of patient. He was your inside source, Rex. You can trust him. Solarians have minds like a maze. You never know when they're leading you into a trap. Trap. Eve's released my doing. Would never have known about her if not for me. That was then. But she's out now. And if she gets hurt, I'll feel it. Understand. But my patient, my responsibility, her welfare a priority. Will not allow her to be compromised by anyone. <laughs> you got a quad, Doctor. Keep her safe. Our females have endured enough. Don't forget, still need your tissue sample. I'll be back. Come what are you sending, Arnold Schwarzenegger? Or Solarian doctors. 
now have work to do. Prefer females of the species. Maybe with an inhibitor. No, 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 no. Entire catalyzing process would fail. Severe... Shepard, blood work complete. Indicate significant stress on Eve's system. Malin's data thorough. Fortunately detailed as well. Have used notes to improve her condition. Have you determined why she's immune? Genophage targeted hormone production during pregnancy. Modification project used same modality. Her immunity, totally different. Targeted glands now obsolete, like human appendix. Other glands mutated to produce proper hormones, enable viable birth. Also explains her weakness. Gland substitution, imperfect. Health trouble. You think you can make this work for all Krogan? Yes. We'll use Eve's tissue to produce mutagen, alter gland function across entire species. Must improve mutagen as well. Tune hormone production. Long-term illness for all Krogan otherwise. How is she doing? No fever currently. Heart rate elevated. Likely stress. Eating appropriately. Could use another blanket. Something soft. Prefer to let her recover fully before synthesizing cure. My medical recommendation. My people don't have time for that. Her opinion, somewhat different. You care about her? My patient. My responsibility. Found her at STG base. Three doctors injured trying to restrain her. Undid arm restraints. Didn't resist when she grabbed me. Promised to help her. She said, please. You've always defended your genophage work. What changed your mind? Never changed mind. Genophage proper decision at time. New circumstances necessitate course correction. Those circumstances being? Reaper invasion. Turians doomed without Krogan support. Krogan need unified threat. Outlet for aggression. Cooperative symbiosis. Nothing else? No personal stake here? Getting old, Shepard. Not many years left. But still best candidate for project. Few Solarian scientists interested in genophage. None with my expertise. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Possibly. Stakes too high for inexperience. But not about them. My work. My job to put it right. To prove I can. Nice talking with you, Warden. Thank you, Shepard. Glad to be back. You planning to stick around when this is over? Until Reaper's dealt with, at least. Then, not sure. Have made impact on Galaxy. Genophage modification, genophage cure. Work against collectors. Decisions, mistakes. Might go somewhere sunny. Sit on beach, look at ocean, collect seashells. You'd go crazy inside an hour. Might run tests on the seashells. <laughs> he has to run tests on everything, doesn't he? Thank you for saving my life, Commander. I didn't think the Krogan had any allies left in the galaxy. We owe a lot to you, even if most people have forgotten that. They can be forgiven. Our actions have hardly inspired friendship. Part of being friends is knowing each other's name. I feel bad that I don't know yours. I surrendered it the day I became a shaman of the female clan. I belong to my sisters now. But perhaps one day, when this is over, you can know it. I didn't realize the Krogan had female shamans. Wisdom comes from pain, and the genophage has made us very wise. Rather than surrender to despair, a few of us chose to preserve the ancient ways. We safeguard our culture, our knowledge, our secrets. So when our children live again, the Krogan will flourish. How were you initiated? You're locked in a cave for seven days with just enough food to last. On the eighth, you'll starve. What does that prove? Your resolve. Every acolyte is given a chance. You either claw your way out through the rock with your bare hands, or you die. How did you make it out alive? I started digging the wrong way. I was in complete darkness. Nothing other than my own heartbeat to sustain me. What happened? I found this. A simple crystal, but it became my chisel. Take it as a reminder, Commander. In the darkest hour, there is always a way out. How did you get involved in Malin's experiments? The other females and I volunteered. We heard Malin was trying to cure the genophage for Clan Werelock. Aren't they a rival clan? Rivalries are the invention of the males. Under their rule, Tachanka has laid in ruins for over a thousand years. It's time females took back our place in society and resurrected our future. Malin was our best hope. Would you go to Malin again? Absolutely. It only takes one candle to light a fire, and then the darkness is no more. 
I found Malin's lab. It looked like a dungeon. His experiments were brutal. We learned that too late. He meant well, but his methods grew more barbaric as he went. We finally escaped into the rubble. Eventually, a Salarian team found us. They saved our lives. We were so sick. Would you go to Malin again? Absolutely. Oh, shoot. It only takes one candle to light a fire, and then the darkness is no more. How has Morton been treating you? Better than Krogan males do. He's not like a typical Solarian. No, no, no. Organ redundancy results in new period before metaphase. Can't alter that. Damage to telomeres, premature aging. He does that. But I sense pain in him, too. He told me about his work on the genophage. I should consider him an enemy. Yet I think seeing my sisters and I changed something in him. A sorry watcher offspring have an allergy to dairy and Well, it wasn't his ear. <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, what's it been like living with the genophage? I knew sisters who couldn't bear the shame of being infertile. They would wander off into the wastelands hoping a thresher maw would kill them and end their torment. Did the thought ever cross your mind? Yes. After my first stillborn. What kept you from ending your own life? When my child didn't draw breath, that's when my life truly began. The genophage forces us to live on hope alone. There is nothing else. There is no reason to exist other than the hope that the next day will bring change. And if it doesn't, there is always the next. How do you think things will change after the genophage is cured? Our species will find its balance again. Females will help shape the future, like in the ancient days, before we were just pawns of power-hungry males. Most seem hell-bent on shooting anything that looks at them wrong. What else is there for them to do? Because of the genophage, they become wandering killers Seeking targets to justify their existence. Excuses to earn them honor. What kept you from ending your own life? When my child didn't draw breath. The genophage, there is no reason to exist other than the hope that the next day will bring change. And if it doesn't, there is always the next. What do you think of Rex? When he's not trying to sire half of Tachanka, he's the best thing that's happened to the Krogan. But I won't tell him that. His head's big enough already. Literally. He's turned into a strong leader. <laughs> I know in his heart Rex wants what's best for us. Though not all the other clans see it that way. Why would the other clans give Rex trouble? You'd think they'd want a better future. It's not in the nature of our males to cooperate. They've evolved to be selfish. Their only concern is survival. Rex is different. He's a mutant. And <laughs> that you can tell him. Do you think Rex will want revenge for the genophage? Some clans will expect it, but I hope Rex resists. He understands the cycle of violence must end if Krogan are ever to have a voice in galactic politics. Still, he's just one Krogan. If enough clans demand it, he may not be able to stop them. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. I've only met a few humans in my time. I'm glad for the opportunity. Oh man, I, I I've never heard more than saying like that. <sighs> okay, let's see how Garrus is doing. Once this door opens, Shepard, they say female Krogan have a thing for guys with scars. So I've heard. <laughs> I've got a few myself. Here's hoping nobody's planning an arranged marriage to cement this deal. Though I have to say, I admire Eve. The things she must have endured living with the genophage. And now, to top it all off, she's her people's last hope. Imagine the pressure. It takes real courage to face that. I hope we can measure up. I guess we're at war with Cerberus now, huh? I've never actually seen a female Krogan. Seems like they're the real brains on Tichonka. Burn. Good to see Morton still alive and kicking, and still finding new ways to cause trouble. Not, <laughs> right now. Not right now. All right, it seems Garrus is done talking.
All right, let's head down to engineering, see what goes on down there. You can load up any time now. There we go. You're Doing all right survive. there, Javik? This cycle? Yes. We called them collectors. They fought for the Reapers. For a long time, no one knew they were Prothean. And when did you realize? Shepard had no choice but to kill the ones he encountered. They were all indoctrinated and had been for a long time. I am grateful. It was an act of mercy. Yes. I suppose it was. Pretty heartfelt right there. The Salarians used to lick their eyes. How far they have come. The Morden Salarian asked if he could dissect me. I approved. But only if he could defeat me in combat first. His reply was problematic. Then he left. I do not understand that one. <laughs> yeah, that's the weird that's the thing about Morn. He's hard to figure out. But that's just what I love about him. Just an opinion piece. You don't like it? Don't download it. You're saying we don't need Terra Nova. Lose one colony, save Lose the piece or lose your spot on this ship, Allers. This is exactly what I was afraid of. Thanks, Commander. What's your choice, Allers? Like you said, it's just your opinion, right? I'll pull it. <laughs> just had to just had to be done. Doesn't seem to be anyone around here. Oh gosh, legs glitching in box. I was begging him. Primark's got some real cojones. What we need are more politicians like him, taking names and kicking ass. Indeed. Just looking around the area. Oh, sorry, but if I'm making too much noise I, with my mouth, I ha I recently just ate. All right, let's head up to the captain ca cabin. <clears throat> just because I want to check on some. Okay, nothing new. All right, let's look at the galaxy map.
got quite a few stuff now. We could investigate the missing scouts, we could ext extract uh, Terrain survivors, but first I want to go to the Citadel and finish up the Bar, the Bar Levon uh, side mission. And pick, uh, or just pick up a few more side missions along the way. You're clear to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I'll handle it. Yes, Commander. Well, let's see what we got here. Not much. But let's just listen around here. That guys or something I want to check. Okay, I figured out what I needed to know. And that is that I'm not really, don't really need to be here. So first off, we're gonna be we're gonna take on that um, side mission. Well, we're gonna finish up the shoot. What was I gonna do? <clears throat> oh yeah, we're gonna finish up the Bar Levon mi side mission. And it's in located in Krogan DMZ. We need to go to Krogan DMZ to to actually do it. I believe it's over in Dranic. Just going out on a limb. I found something. 
No, you have. Shadow Broker Wet Squad. I'm guessing that's what we were supposed to find. Let's go ahead and go to Nith for the rest of the assets here. Well, there must be something here. Crap. Light jump successful. I'll have to come look into some some other time. Let's head, head back to the Citadel and report to Barlavon. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need a cab to the Presidium. It'll be there momentarily. Alright, Barlavon's way up here. Or right up here. I rescued those soldiers from Reaper territory. Excellent work. I've been asked to offer you part of my finder's fee from the mercenary's employer. And now that our business is concluded, I have to tend to some other engagements. Goodbye, Commander. I wonder what's right here. Thank you. Nothing new. What about for exports? Getting myself quite an aquarium. Might as well listen around here. If there's nothing, I'll just go ahead and end the video. Shoot lag. So yeah. you... my dad was a Krogan. Yes, I'm aware of that. So that makes you a quarter Krogan. That's not how it works. I'm a thousand years old. I've had kids with Hanar. Don't tell me how a sorry reproduction works. Wait, I have a half sister who's part Hanar. I thought that wasn't how it worked. <laughs> oh, the interesting conversations. I have spoken with many Batarian refugees here, Shepard. 
It may interest you to know that they are much more agreeable when the hegemony is no longer watching. Welcome to hmm. the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today. Welcome to Nosostra's sporting goods. So wait, what they have, when, what's new they have here? If anything is new. Our selections include rare Thank you for shopping. Nope. Doesn't seem to be anything new around here. Not going to switch stuff. Pausing. Anyway, I believe that about does it for this episode. Alright. <clears throat> Next time on Mass Effect, we're gonna be. We're, we're gonna. Well, we're gonna head, head on out and investigate the missing Krogan platoon. See you guys later.